Now at this point, we just want our families to be buried and uh, the suffering to basically uh, end. Montreal's Notre-Dame-des-Neiges Cemetery could see its gates reopen by early September following the end of a labor dispute that began in January. And while family members say they can breathe a sigh of relief, some are saying this should never happen again. I think uh, that the news of the cemetery opening is somewhat soothing to the families knowing that we're getting closer to what we wanted and it's a step forward but we're not there yet. The strike saw 100 operations and maintenance workers off the job for six months. Now over, there's a backlog of unburied bodies in cold storage, some 300 plus. We have no idea of when it's going to happen. Jimmy Koliakodakis has been waiting since February to bury his mother, and while the burials are no longer paused with a backlog, he fears he may be one of the many who will have to wait until December to see their loved ones buried. I don't think we expect any relief until the families are actually buried and the ceremony has been completed. Some have been able to put their loved ones to rest. City News reached out to the union representative for maintenance workers for comment about the cleanup work at the cemetery that began Monday, but have not heard back. On Thursday morning, we weren't able to see anybody through the gates doing this work, but as you can see, there are still tree branches down from April's ice storm, and currently the grass is overgrown, covering most, if not all, all of the headstones of graves. This was wrong, it was inhumane, and it cannot happen again. This seems to be a pattern. Every time there's a labor contract that's up, there's a problem with the cemetery. For Michael Musacchio, whose daughter is buried in the cemetery, he fears a strike will happen once more come 2027 when the new labor contract ends. Because I have a feeling that if things don't change, we're going to be back, and it's not a good thing to put through people through this again. We believe that it's going to happen again, unless the government steps in and says at a certain point, burials need to be considered an essential service. You cannot hold on to loved ones as a leverage or a negotiating tactic. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.